Hey everyone, this is Bill from Inside You. Listen, very quickly, I <laughs> I done fucked up and scheduled myself into a corner this weekend. So unfortunately, we're not able to record a new episode. But what better way to celebrate the month of July than to re-release our Christmas episode from this year? So it's like Christmas in July. Fucking hooray! I know, right? It's really not that exciting, but it made me excited, and that's that's all that matters, I guess. Um, so yeah, we're going to rec- re- re-release our uh, Christmas episode from this past year, uh, entitled Bumbles, uh, because, you know, Bumbles, bounce! No? Yukon Cornelius. Nobody. Show of hands? Nobody? Okay, I'm going to go. Uh, so we hope you enjoy, and uh, we'll be back next week with a brand spanking new episode. This is Bill from Inside You, pulling out. bye bye kind of a hot mess <laughs> <I'd say>. yeah <laughs> welcome to another edition of inside you i'm bill raptor and uh uh so bad news so last we did a live stream our first live stream was that our first one the, the the first one we did here in the office yeah it's our first one and we recorded the audio for the podcast at the same time and this time <laughs> What had happened was we went live and I forgot to hit record <laughs> on the recorder for the audio portion. So this is like a supplemental audio portion. Um, but hey, it's Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yes, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Chrysler. Merry Chrysler. Merry Chrysler. <laughs> Merry Chrysler. <laughs> Merry Chrysler. <laughs> um, so some updates. So we... Uh, ooh. Sorry, I got it there. You good? I'm sorry about that. Um, Raptor just had to take a break to pee because... Yes. Uh, oh my God. That relief. Really, you feel better? Yeah, a lot of the pressure is off. Nice. But, you know, popping that seal when you've been drinking, not <laughs> oh, a good yes. thing. Mm. <sighs> I do feel better, though. Yes. Um, but, uh, yeah, so this, so this is a supplemental audio portion. It's Christmas, and uh, so to cover shortly what we covered in the live stream, wife cooked a fucking nice meal. I made the ham. She threw down on the rest of it. Raptor's, mom, Raptor's mama stopped by and gave me a very ge- a gift that made me tear up more than once. Um. Oh, let's see. Give my wife a gift that she's going to have a cocktail out of later. And we're going to get turned and then probably going to have sex. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be white elbowy. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of elbows. A lot, a, hair, of, a lot of elbows. Hair pulling, eye poking. <laughs> and, oh, eye gout. poking? Gout. <laughs> gout. <laughs> hair pulling, okay. And, uh, eye poking? Eye wiping? Oh, no, no, that's uh, that's gross. So, yeah, that's gross. And uh, we've been told on the li- on the live stream we had we got told that the audio portion must be an hour. Um, it's it's because she needs something to listen to on her rides to and from work. That's fine. It doesn't take an hour, her an hour to get to work. I can make it. From- no, no, she, it, it's so. What she does is what she told me is that. Well, yesterday she complained. Not really complained, but complained that there's no new Let's Read Our Diaries, which is taking the break until after the new year. Okay. Completely understandable. Um, And then since we didn't record over the weekend, so no new episode came out Monday, um, she had nothing to listen to for the past couple of days on her ride, her 20 minute ride to and from work. I gotcha. Well, we hope this satiates it at least for the first 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously folks um uh raptor uh, and i have been drinking a little bit yes her, she, raptor handles her alcohol way better than i can so um, yeah i had a pretty big emerald sour and then now i'm having a, a, a medium-sized emerald sour i'm almost done and I'm gonna, I'm it's gonna, really kicking his ass though it is though i'm gonna stop after this one i'm just i'm gonna go get a bubble water or something but i'm through here uh but uh um i at least took a break in the middle of mine i drank a soda with dinner what are you saying <laughs> <laughs> wow i was looking at the waveform <laughs> what would you say <laughs> um oh yeah you took a, you yeah i had a glass <laughs> iced tea but apparently that did nothing um is that a bottle of water on the bar 
Yeah. Can I have that, please? How long has that been sitting here? Beats the shit out of me, but it's closed and I'm thirsty. <laughs> uh, oh, hold on. Mm. Yeah, it was vodka. <laughs> <laughs> the look on your face. <laughs> It'd be pretty bad if I was hiding from water bottles. Yeah, that would. <laughs> that would be hashtag alcoholism. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's Christmas and we're trying to... We're, ooh, my stomach hurts. We're winding down in between um, my son taking a nap because he's being a, he's being a J-hole. And, uh, um, Still don't know what a J-hole is, though. It's a jackhole. Okay. J- Jackrabbit. Yeah. Uh, and and then because when he gets up, we're immediately supposed to have dessert. I and I'm I'm looking forward to dessert, but uh, I think I made room now. I can breathe. I'm hurting. <laughs> I'm hurting. Uh, I, I think that full bladder was just pushing on everything I'm, I'm hoping, and making everything hurt. I'm hoping. Oh fuck! I'm sleepy too. I hope that some of that alcohol kind of, or some of the uh, dessert kind of soaks up the alcohol, because I need it. Because I wish to have another cocktail and get toasty, wo- toasty, wo- <laughs> tote my goats <laughs> later on. <laughs> later on with the wife. Um, yeah. <laughs> What's going on? Oh yeah. So uh, so okay. So. Uh, Yep, forgot. Forgot what I was going to I don't say. know where you're going with this one, so I can't help you Me out. Me neither, dude. Um, oh, we're in the process of having a computer built for us with better audio, a better audio interface so the podcast won't sound iffy anymore, um, which will be beneficial. Yeah. And it'll have Windows instead of Chrome, and it'll be not Windows XP. <laughs> I got Although the, that served its purpose. Well, I got it to work for now. Um, so, I mean, there's that. Ooh, I got a crack back. Oh. Ooh. So, um, yes. So we have an unpaid intern <laughs> who's building a computer for us. And we'll throw, we'll throw him something. When, when... Oh, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> when, uh, we'll throw him a little something, something when, when it's done. But it, this should serve its purpose and it'll be better for live streaming and stuff. And the, 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 it should, it should, it should, it should, uh, have, 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 uh, web, web, Wow, stroking out, Bill. It should have maybe uh, some uh, webcam capabilities for what we got to do. We have, we, we're going to, we're, 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 it's Raptor help. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just found out about this the other day, so you know more about it than yeah. I do. But, uh, we, oh, we're going to have, we're going to start having production meetings for the, for the YouTube stuff, the yes. video stuff, uh, after the new year. Uh, um, we kind of jumped the gun on it, but, you know, it's good to it's good to announce stuff and then work on it to get it good than to have it half assed. So Yeah, I don't want to be putting shitty shit out there. <laughs> the shittiest of shit. Yes, the shittiest <laughs> of shit. I feel all warm inside right now. <laughs> it's only amaretto. <sighs> yeah, but it's fifty per fifty two fifty 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 have to have help me. Oh my god. Percent. Oh my god! You could definitely tell I didn't make the second one for you. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you know what? The first one was smooth, and it had well. This one doesn't have any bite to it because it tastes like juice. Uh, but this, my god, <laughs> I think I made this one half amaretto, like completely. You probably did. I mean, uh, it looks. Well, I mean, it's a little watered down now, it looks like but. Urine. <laughs> But it it did look pretty dark when you actually big old glass of piss, <laughs> <laughs> or that episode of Friends where no one's ready, glass of fat. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna start production meetings and stuff. There's some cool stuff I want to do, but I don't know how to do it. So I gotta look it up and research and stuff and there's some stuff that we know how to do already just a it's a it's a it's a it's a um it, it's finding the time to do it yeah so um 
but I got an, I have an app that I paid for <laughs> unknowingly <laughs> for, for video editing. So that's good. <laughs> we'll be putting out 4k videos, which, right. you know, fucking a, um, you know, I'm going to drink this and get rid of it. Hold on. Okay. I'm tired. Good now? I'm tired of holding it. Yeah. I'm flying, man. <laughs> Uh, oh, smoking, shit. smoking an un- unlit cigarette for two minutes. <laughs> yeah, he has. <laughs> you are past the point of help. <sighs> These aren't even the ones I brought down here. <laughs> Where's this come from? God. <laughs> Uh, You're just out of control. I feel like I, if I was a lady you know, <laughs> and I was at a bar right now, <laughs> I would get roofied. <laughs> yeah, you probably would. Uh, you know what I saw the other day, Rebecca? What's that thing, Ben? I was at work, and it's like cold outside. And I saw a guy walk in the store with fucking flip-flops on. Shorts and flip-flops. And was I'm that like, Ryan? No. Yeah. Who's Ryan? Ryan Fanick. No. No, he gets away with it because he's cool. Oh, yeah, he's, he's a badass. He's always wearing shorts and flip flops. That's why I asked. But this guy is like this guy. Is he what hoodie, shorts, baller shorts, and flip flops. Now, first things first. I do wear baller shorts, but I wear them around the house. Yes. The only reason you should be wearing baller shorts is one, if you play a professional sport, or two, if you have dick. <laughs> Same thing with gray sweatpants. <laughs> I have neither. <laughs> This is you have a proverbial, you have a metaphorical dick. Yes, I do. Um, but I'm thinking like God, and this dude's feet like he did not take care of them. Oh, it's like God in her infinite wisdom. If there is a God, it's probably a her. Yeah, made a giant mistake with the, with the design of men's feet, just knuckles, <laughs> the hair. Oh, and the reason that women are hesitant to perform the sexual position reverse cowgirl. Is that the sight of men's feet is the greatest drying agent. <laughs> Not since borax was discovered in, in the valley. Has there been a... <laughs> uh, <laughs> has there been a better drying <laughs> Just picture it. Oh my it. god. Picture it. No. Hold no. On. Picture it. No. You're home. Uh, the, the candles are lit. Okay. The cush is lit. Uh huh. Did I say the candles are lit? Yes. They're soy. <laughs> because wax arm shit, that doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, some of those soy candles smell good. You're with your Anumarati, <laughs> the one you love. <laughs> You're in the thrusts of pre sexual congress. She throws you down, she mounts up. And then, oh no. Not the orange pumpkin toe. Oh, I hate the orange pumpkin toe. Oh, <laughs> it's just like, oh, you know what? Fuck this. Can we just order pizza and watch Game of Thrones? <laughs> <laughs> Which is also an acceptable date. Pat yourself on the back for that joke, Bill. <laughs> that was a good one. Write it down. Uh, uh, it's a drying agent. <laughs> Good times. Yeah, you really have been drinking. I have been drinking. You are so red right now. I am a man of my word. I told everyone who would listen yesterday that I was going to get turned. <laughs> and God your, damn it. Your neck and face is as red as your uh, cigarette case there. My neck. My neck. <laughs> <laughs> I was not trying to set you up for that. And yet, you did. Here we are. Here we are. <laughs> <Drying agents. laughs> oh, shit. Men want to wear white pants. No one should ever wear white pants. Uh, 
No. You know what? There's some acceptable situations. One, if you're in the Navy. Well, yes. Two, if you're selling me ice cream at the side of a truck, <laughs> you better you better be Mr. Softy the ice cream guy. I better be able to get a quart of half and half <laughs> and a soft pretzel <laughs> and an ice cream cup. <sighs> if it's none of those two, don't do it. And now, the moment you've been waiting for. It's time for Mixed Martial Arts Action. Fighting for your bet. The reigning, defending, undisputed champion of sports bettors in Pennsylvania. Bet Rivers Sportsbook. Place your bets on the Warriors inside the cage. Bet Rivers Sportsbook. Presented by Rivers Casino Pittsburgh. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. At JobLot, we're focusing on the things you need around your home. Of course, we have an excellent selection of hand sanitizers and wipes, masks and thermometers, disposable gloves, and disinfectants. But we also have the best selection of designer women's swimsuits at 75% savings. We have wonderful closeouts on capris, shorts, and performance tops, and closeouts on men's t-shirts, shorts, and swimsuits. If you're headed to the beach, we have beach chairs and umbrellas. It's a great week to shop at Ocean State Job Lot. Same with like wearing like um, backwards baseball caps because you know you want to look like you're walking with more philosophy. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! And as for men wearing flip flops, no. You should look at yourself in the mirror if you put on a pair of flip flops. What are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> and you should say to yourself, one. Am I four? <laughs> Two, don't do it. <laughs> if you're not four, get take the flip flops off. That's why God make deck shoes. I'm gonna have a headache in the morning. Yeah, you are. And it's only four thirty. <laughs> right? Oh, I haven't done this book day drinking in a while. And you know I'm going to hit it again when I go upstairs. Yeah, I know you are. I don't have to go to work tomorrow, so that's my, my deterrent. Well, you did say that you were going to drink. I did. Because you, just, you don't have to work tomorrow. Man of my word. Um, I saw a naked guy once. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> so I used to work at this place called America's Keswick. It was in Whiting, New Jersey. It's a rehab center. Okay. <coughs> but it was based on the the magician. Okay. The, the great magician. Jesus. And uh so every once in a while they had a summer staff. Of us who would come in and be wait staff, like wait tables. It was also a conference center. So we wait tables and wash dishes and things like that. What are you doing? Digging in my pocket. Uh, so every once in a while they would take us out on outings. We get our paychecks. So we could, you know, spend our paychecks or and like, you know, go shopping, get some stuff for our bunks and our rooms and stuff. So we went to, uh, God, where did we go? I want to say it was like Trenton or Cherry Hill. The Cherry Hill Mall, I want to say. The one sense. that's in New Jersey? It, I mean, you, uh, co- come on. No. Is that Harold, okay. is that Harold and Kumar? No. Ch- 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 that's, oh, I get it. You <laughs> bitch. <laughs> it's a man. It's, it's alcohol. So, yeah, it was a mall. So I'm walking in the mall, and to my right, in my periphery, I see it. It's a naked dude. <laughs> And, and, and not like an like a uh, indignant kind of guy, but a proud naked person okay. walking the only way a naked guy could walk in New Jersey, daring you. I <laughs> <laughs> said, <laughs> you know, no one else is going to get that Cherry Hill Mall. Reference. I know. It's like. I've heard of, like, reports of, like, naked dudes getting on buses and shit. No, oh, yeah. 
It was like, you sat on a muni bus <laughs> with your fucking man bag rubbing against the sea. I hope you left a note. Right? <laughs> Raptor, help me. You are way past help right now. Like, I'm not... I'm not drunk. I'm just. I'm. I'm. Uh, there's the line. I see it, and I could choose to step over it if I want to. Can you still still see straight? Yeah. Okay. Then you're not drunk. I have glasses, though. I have corrective lenses. <laughs> this is lens lenses, so I could see. But even I've been drunk with glasses on and still can't see straight. <laughs> this is a West Side Story joke. Oh, you punk! Can't you hear me? Well, yes, sir. I got twenty twenty hearing. <laughs> Just remember, Swags, you asked for this. I can keep going. Eddie Murphy said shit on TV last week. <laughs> That's not a big deal, but no, a lot of people say shit on. TV. I, I know, but it was it was fun. That's it. Okay. What you got going on? <laughs> I think I'm out. I'm out of ammo. <laughs> You really are. Uh, we're only 18 minutes in. Yeah. Yeah, we are. If we stop at the 20-minute mark and not tell Swags that we do it and just cut off and not even sign off, <laughs> she'll think something's wrong with her phone and have to pull over. <laughs> well, now she'll know. No, I'll, I'll edit this out. <laughs> just be like, yeah, and then we're going to go have production meet. <laughs> and then no sound. <laughs> Oh, that would be fun. That would be, oh my God, the, the text I would receive. What the fuck? Because she I'm would, late for work. She would text me first. Are you, Doug, are you telling me that it's 825? <laughs> Damn. I'm late for school. <laughs> <clears throat> Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Oh god, don't throw up. No, I have something called my throat. <coughs> I'm good. You good? I'm good. <sighs> Not everything. Every... I just keep thinking of all the desserts that are upstairs and how I don't have room for them, and yet I want to put them all inside me. And yet I don't want to feel like a. Like a, like a fat Marlon Brando when I go to fucking lay the wife down later on tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, I'm sorry I can't do this right now. <laughs> I'm all humped up on, las on chocolate las las lasagna, which we have. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Hi, this is Barry White. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, no, no. <laughs> It's, it's been, it's been a minute. Yeah, it has uh, been a minute. Uh, uh, oh, so I got something for you. Help me. <laughs> I'm out of material. I'm, I'm, like, you can hear it in my head just going, <laughs> there's nothing in there. Yeah. <laughs> I can hear the misfires. <laughs> so, um. I've been listening to a lot of Rush lately. I don't know really? Why. I don't know. Why. I like Rush. I thought you didn't like Rush. It's Mark that doesn't like Rush. Oh, okay. I love me some Rush. Okay. Getty Lee. Okay, I couldn't. Alex Lifeson. I thought maybe it was you. I could Neil Peart. <laughs> Are you just going to name the members of Rush now? There's only three of them. They're all amazing. <laughs> you good? Yeah. You sure? Please continue. Okay. Um... <laughs> You good? Water. Water? <laughs> a cup of water. Water? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah go. <laughs> um, so I know you love Christmas Carol. Yeah, I do. That's so excuse for picking a man's pocket every December the 25th, but I, should, I suppose. FX has a miniseries? I have it in my DVR. Oh, I watched the first three episodes. It's disgustingly good. Yes. It's... Because because it's nothing like any Christmas Carol I've ever seen. The only thing that kind of comes close to that is the fucking jokes. Guy Pierce, Andy Serkis. See, he, like I don't like Guy Pierce as an actor. I think he's horseshit. <laughs> I, I do. Since I saw since I saw him in Iron Man three, I'm like you're a piece of shit. But then 
I did. I watched the first maybe 30 minutes and he's like impressing me. I'm like, Jesus Christ. And then I saw a clip on YouTube of Andy Serkis and I was like, no, I love me some Andy Serkis. Right. One, he played the Caesar in Planet of the Apes. Yep. Two, he played Snoke in the recent Star Wars movies. Yep. Three, he's going to play Alfred in the new Batman movie. Mm -mm. (laughs) (laughs) I love Batman. He's a muscular genius. Um, So, yeah, uh, it's like gross and gritty and like. The it way is, Vic- and I love it. It's the way Victorian London is supposed to be. Yeah. Like, it's it's definitely different. Yeah. Um, I watched... I didn't I didn't know they were coming out with it. I don't have cable, so... Oh, I did. I pre-recorded it, like, two weeks ago. Um, so I watched part one uh, yesterday. Yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. And then uh, part two came out last night. I haven't gotten to watch that yet. Uh, I'm hoping that's on Hulu tonight. It is that, good. That'll be my uh, my tonight viewing. That's good mojo. The Christmas Carol. Um, uh, I, okay, yeah, John Favreau, he's a genius. Um, I'm still partial to George C. Scott because I'm kind of like, I'm a fan of the source material, material, so... George C. Scott kind of delivered on all that. But then again, so did Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey's version ain't terrible. I haven't seen it. I'd say it's on the on the Plus, the Disney Plus, but it's not available until next November. Um, but right now it's on Stars. I don't have Stars. I don't have Stars either. So I can't watch it. But it's, <laughs> it's not bad. Fucking Jim Carrey plays uh, all the ghosts plus Scrooge. Yeah. And that Gary Oldman plays Bob Cratchit. Which is just amazing. Right. And Colin Firth is in there somewhere. Oh, Merry Christmas, Uncle. Yeah, he plays he plays Scrooge's nephew. Um Yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen that one. <sighs> I'm out of breath. I still have the I have the, the one with Alistair Sim in my DVR. I have the one with Reginald Owen in my DVR. And I have the one with Guy Pierce in my DVR. So yeah, I haven't seen all of it, but it's lo- it uh, the from 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 what I've, from what I've seen of it, it's love love lovely. Help me, <laughs> stuttering really bad. Uh, uh, no more alcohol for you. You fuck off and die. I'll do it. <laughs> drink it for wow. I can drink it for one. I can leave my friends behind because <laughs> if friends don't dance, then they. Pants. Um, but no friends of mine. Yes. Um, um, what was I watching with the wife? That was actually really The Crown on Netflix. That was actually pretty decent. It's about Queen. I've heard Let's, really good things about that. The, I haven't watched it yet, though. The recent Queen, who is well, <laughs> apparently, never die. She's like what ninety six, something like that. Yeah, right. What else I got to watch? I haven't really watched anything else. Same. Like to even like talk about. I've been rewatching ER. Again? Yeah, I love it. I don't know. I don't know. It's something about it. I, just, I watched all 14, 15, 14 or 15. 94 to 2009. <laughs> 14 seasons. Watched all 15 seasons, 14, 15, whatever. I even stuck around when John Stamos showed up. And he tends to be a serious I think that's kind of where I, I cut off at. He tends to be a serious killer sometimes. Same with um, that guy from Married with Children. <laughs> Who's a dick? Which one? Don't know. Nothing to do with the big nose. The son or the, the Jefferson? Maybe. I, I got to be honest. I don't know. Don't know enough. Don't know enough about that show. But I know he was a serious killer. Hey, I'm Andy. If you don't know me, it's probably because I'm not famous. But I did start a men's grooming company called Harry's. The idea for Harry's came out of a frustrating experience I had buying razor blades. Most brands were overpriced, overdesigned, and out of touch. At Harry's, our approach is simple. 
Here's our secret. We make sharp, durable blades and sell them at honest prices for as low as $2 each. We care about quality so much that we do some crazy things, like buy a world-class German blade factory. Obsessing over every detail means we're confident in offering a 100% quality guarantee. Millions of guys have already made the switch to Harry's, so thank you if you're one of them. And if you're not, we hope you give us a try with this special offer. Get a Harry starter set with a five-blade razor, weighted handle, shave gel, and a travel cover. All for just three bucks, plus free shipping. Just go to harrys.com and enter 5000 at checkout. That's harrys.com, code 5000. Enjoy! Um, I'm surprised Linda's still sleeping, <laughs> shit. Right? <laughs> oh, but, uh... Dead air. ER. Yes. Yeah, stuck around when Dr. Green died. That was sad. Stuck around after George Clooney left. That was sad. Is it? Yeah, I don't think I've seen actually the whole series. That's so good. All of it. All of it is good. And stuck around when Noah Wiley left. Son of a God, bitch. Oh, I don't remember that. Here's the thing, though. They got this new thing on. Well, it's not new. It's quite recent. But not new. They got this Chicago kind of like universe on NBC. I never got into that. Chicago Fire, Chicago Med, Chicago... PD. PD. They had Chicago Justice at one time. (laughs) So it takes place in Chicago, yeah? Yes. Yes. Where did ER take place? Was that Chicago? Chicago. County General. Oh, yeah. Why? The ever-loving fuck hasn't a doctor from ER crossed over with that goddamn show. That would be great. Like on Chicago Med, like it's a shot of the help desk and a guy comes up and he's only seen from the back and he says, excuse me, I need some help. Yeah. Can I help you? Who are you? Yeah. uh, Dr. Doug Ross turned around and it's George Clooney. It's the Clune. That would be badass. That would be. And then in tow is his <laughs> wife, Juliana Margulies, Nurse Hathaway. I would lose it. I would lose my shit. And I'm dizzy. We're going to have to stop soon. For real. That's not good. Um, don't you roll your eyes at me. I didn't. <laughs> don't you give me that look. You're going to get it. <laughs> <laughs> um... If they ever rebooted ER, I would boycott hard, naked, <laughs> at the gates of NBC. Don't do it! I don't even think there's anyone around now that could be of that caliber. Actors or, or showrunners? Actors. Mm. Well, if you got, like, Noah Wiley back to be, like, Dr. Carvey, he's running the fucking, he's, like, the chief of medicine. At County General, that would fly. Have Mark Green's daughter, Rachel, as the attending physician, the attending ER physician. That would fly. Yeah. Have George Clooney come back and do cameos like he did in the last couple seasons. <laughs> Jay Leno. <laughs> um, what else we got going on? Now then. Um, I guess, is this our last show of the year? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, it's our last show of the year. Yeah. Oh, oh, and I didn't prepare a speech. I don't even think you'd remember it by now. A speech? Yeah. I would have written it down. I'm a good writer, I think. Oh, okay. So for as long as it took me to get that last blog post out, my one for February, done. What? Yeah. <laughs> I'm done. My God. Yeah. <laughs> it came out in like a day and a half. Holy shit. <laughs> yes, holy shit. <laughs> I have to poop. <laughs> <laughs> Please leave that in. <laughs> yeah, I'll hold it. <laughs> I I really got to finish my blog post. It's not done? No. Oh, I thought you might have had it done already. No, I um I had plans of trying to finish it the other day, 
I had plans of trying to finish it last night, and then I uh, I did my normal um, Christmas Eve tradition of watching Muppet Christmas Carol wrapping all my presents. Nice. And then I finished that. I watched Home Alone. Mr. Well, Scrooge? I started watching Home Alone, and then uh, I went, I laid in bed, and I finished watching Home Alone. Word. And then I went to bed. Awesome. Good stuff. Um. Well, you seem to have the love, the level of almost procrastination that I had the last go around. Really it's know. not procrastination. It's not. I call it procrastination, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Because I don't know. I can't form any other words at the moment besides bumble. <laughs> bumble? <laughs> yeah. The b- Who's wearing heels upstairs? Right? My wife's not wearing any shoes. That's what I thought. Sophie has socks on. What the fuck? Sophie has her JoJo socks on. Yeah. Yeah. At least you didn't bring her anything that lights up or sings. I wouldn't do I, that I, to I you. I appreciate. I appreciate. I mean, if, if, if I'm going to bring anything that makes noise, it's going to be for the boy. Yeah. <laughs> um. But, uh, okay. Well, I guess so. This is our last show of the year. Um. Take a little time out to say thanks, everybody. Um, January 2nd will be our two-year anniversary doing this show. Holy shit. I know. We're over 100 episodes, too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, January 2nd was when you, you know, made the bullshit beacon. You are the worst. I know. But, uh... Um... The fans are drinking apple wine. Um, that's crazy. Yeah. I don't think we have any plans to stop. And, and matter of fact, we got some, we got some plans to move forward. Yes. So everybody who listened so far, even whether y'all be a, a, a small number or a big number, we appreciate and we don't hate. <laughs> we don't hate. We appreciate. And uh, things will be awesome. <laughs> After the new year. Wow. <laughs> yeah, he's got to stop soon. Things will be awesome after the new year. The new yizzle. <laughs> it's a new dog. And um, hopefully we, ha- we, ha- we, ha- we hope to have more guests um, and more live videos and more regular videos and live streams. And who's wearing, he- who's wearing clogs up in my kitchen? I have no idea. That's I means when I was up there, the only people that were up there were Stacy, Brenda, and Sophie. Is it Snickers? <laughs> it might be Snickers. I'm getting really warm in the face. You um, are still so red. Yeah, Not as red as you were, were earlier. I need a nap. A little nappy wrap. Um. So yeah. So things are uh, on. Are going. We're gonna do. We're gonna do some good stuff. Yes. Awesome stuff. And we're, I'm never going to do this again. Get this toasty before recording because this is a disaster. Next time, let me make your drinks. Yeah, you're the barman. Yes. Um. So, yeah. So, as we wrap it up, this is the last show of the year and it's Christmas. Um, <laughs> we said thank you and uh, we love all of you for, for, for listening. And to all of your uh, potential, all of our potential guests that we haven't reached out to, but will. Yes. Um, we're not so bad. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not like this all the time. No. Uh, usually I'm just drinking coffee. Coffee. That's what I need. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Coffee. So uh, as we sign off for 2019, we just want to say thanks. And to whoever who's wearing wooden shoes in my kitchen. Right. Say thanks to. For 2019 and for Inside You with Bill and the Raptor, I'm Bill. Raptor. And we are pulling out. 
Place your legal sports bets at BetRivers.com. Your new home for sports betting. Millions of betting options a year on the sports you love. We offer live in-game betting on major sporting events worldwide. Tons of bets available during games from money lines, prop bets, and many more. Use one of our 12 easy deposit methods to get in on the action. And when you win, we offer fast and reliable withdrawals. Sign up now and we'll match your first deposit up to $250. More bets, better odds, more action. Place your sports bets at BetRivers.com. Must be 21 or over to play. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. 